Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be filming a haul video for you guys. It is Kohl's, Target, and Amazon. So if you're interested in what I purchased, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with my Kohl's purchase. I ordered this months and months ago, so I honestly do not know if they're still online, though I would not recommend buying anything from their online. They did such horrible service, and like I said, this was months and months ago, and it actually did not even arrive to me. It was shipped to the completely different wrong address. Luckily, my mom was able to reship them to me like last week, but I'm saying months and months ago. just. Going into Kohl's, awesome to shop online, never ever again. So with that warning out of the way, I'm going to show you. I didn't get a lot, it's just these two items, but I really wanted them for my fall wardrobe. So I've been really into um, purses that have the, what do you call this? I keep wanting to call it satchel, but it's not a satchel. I mean, technically... I think on the website it said it was um, and I don't remember the prices but again I'll try to list as much as I can down below but this is just a beautiful taupe bag and you can easily have it either just on your arm which I used to do a lot but now I don't know if it's Europe or what but I tend to carry my purses through my shoulder now and I just I really like that I can like move freely I know that looks so weird but I can like move more like not a no I mean technically you can still be a normal but you know you move more freely when you don't have like this like on you so that's why I wanted to get another bag because I only have one from I think like nine west or something and I definitely wanted like a warm taupey brownish color so I really thought that this was a really pretty and it has this gold details and then inside it's just one um, big thing with this striped pattern it's got the zipper and then the two little pouches okay so this is the second purse and you can tell it's kind of the same um, aestheticness to it I guess you could tell again it does have the um, so you can hold on your arm like a normal bag but it also has these straps oh that's what it's called it has these straps so you can make it long and again it's just exactly the actually it's, yeah it's exactly the same on the inside the little zipper and then the two front pouches again a black one I used to have one but I went to manicure a while ago like I think that was like last year I went to a manicurist and I got the white on it and I just couldn't remove it and I used it too much anyway it was time for a new black bag that you know will go with everything okay guys so now moving on to the amazon portion of this haul which is more of the beauty related items i finally got the beauty junkies pro makeup blending sponges i've heard a lot of people talk about that the pink one in here is pretty close to the beauty blender when i first heard about it i'm like okay like i think it's like 16 or 14 dollars maybe 10 i'm not exactly it's less than the beauty blender but i'm like it wasn't that much of a difference for me to want to buy it like I was like, real techniques, $5, this for maybe something that'll work. But now that other companies have been coming out with other sponges that are similar to ones that are in here, I decided now was the perfect time to buy all of these and try all of them out and see if that is true or not. But yeah. The next thing that I got are these Artiste dupe brushes. Now, I knew they were not gonna like be anything i mean not anything because they look like the artiste ones but i wanted to purchase them to compare them because i've been wanting different sizes but they're really really expensive 
But when I looked online, I could have swear that these look like they're going to be bigger and they're quite, quite smaller. I haven't opened them. I haven't felt them or anything, so I don't know how they feel or what the quality is. But I will be filming a video for you guys on that soon. I just, I thought it was about time for me to check out one of these and see if they're like worth it to buy the cheap end or not so i got another brush and this is the echo tools custom coverage buffing brush now i've been really really into flat top brushes to do my foundation so i saw this and i do like echo tools so i decided to try it out i think it was like maybe ten dollars Maybe less, more. Uh, again, I'll have everything listed down below. But again, I wanted to compare this to some other brushes, which is why I got it. This next brush is really, really interesting. As soon as I saw it, I thought of the new Vanish um, foundation brush. And I was like, because I was not going to pay for that. So this brush really reminded me of that. I know it's a little bit different, but either way, again, it's a flat top brush. So I'm really, really excited to try this. And of course, with all the brushes, you need to clean them. So I'm starting to realize that I have a lot of brushes and cleaning them is honestly like not fun for me. It's like, this thing takes forever and so I would do it on my hand or a little glove or um, one of those little things which I currently lost um, so when I saw this online I thought it'd be perfect um, it's just this a small little silicone like cleaner thing for your brushes it has the suction cup so you know you could just put it in your sink and then grab your brushes and then just clean them and I feel like that's a little bit easier and less stressful like on your hand if you do it like that so you can just directly do it on the sink so I thought it was really cool and again it has like all these patterns for your different brushes like your face ones your eye ones and I know Sigma has one sort of like this it's probably bigger and obviously way more expensive but I thought I would give it a try for the price like I said I have a lot of brushes and I I need some help cleaning them so hopefully this works for me but I will let you guys know it also comes with this smaller pad um, I don't know if maybe this would go like in the middle of the sink like that maybe I don't know either way though like you could use this by itself too or maybe travel with this one like if you're only taking a couple brushes and you obviously want to clean them like maybe you could use this one so either way I think this is a cute little deal and I like the color so the last thing I got is pretty random I mean it's not really random but it doesn't really go with what I've been showing you which is more like beauty and fashion this is the Tazo passion uh, iced tea well not really iced tea but I'm gonna drink it ice um, I believe this is like the one that like Starbucks would use um, I would always get my very very hibiscus tea and like apparently they call it passion tea now or whatever but I really love hibiscus tea it's probably my favorite tea and I do have just the hibiscus um, flower on its own and then I add some honey but sometimes I do want it a little bit extra so I decided to buy this and see if it tastes as good as the Starbucks one sort of not really you know what I mean um, I mean either way I'm gonna drink them hopefully they taste somewhat like that if not I, like I said I love hibiscus tea so I'm still gonna drink them so moving on to Target I actually just realized um, in an email that my stuff all ships separately which I always thought they would just ship everything together unless you pay for it to be shipped faster but either way I'm thankful that Target shipped <laughs> I'm thankful that should wow I am thankful that Target shipped this to me because I have so much trouble finding stores and websites I, like I was trying to purchase from Alley Girl and they did not ship to APO in Europe or vice versa whatever but um so this beautiful 
organizer I purchased from Target. I believe the brand is Threshold if I'm mistaken. I'm sorry, I'll have it listed down below. So this is a glass container organizer. I love the copper um, detailing. Like it honestly inspired me that I actually purchased something else for a DIY. But I purchased, I believe, two of these. Um, the other one's gold or maybe the same color but it has different things and I'm gonna organize I believe some more makeup in this so um I was kind of scared at first because it's glass but then I realized I'm actually really gentle when I'm organizing my makeup maybe I'll have a video for you guys with my makeup storage and organizing once I get it somewhat what how I like but um if you're like person that throws things in because I know there are some people like that and there's nothing wrong with that like you know you're trying to put your stuff back and you need to leave and get gone but if you're like that probably a glass one would not be so great but either way I really thought it was beautiful and like I love this like vintage feel and so with that being said I have a big um acrylic drawer where I keep most of the majority of my makeup and it's just your clear acrylic drawer drawer but when I saw that I was like hmm interesting I decided to purchase these acrylic paints in copper rose gold and gold and I'm thinking of DIYing the edges on the acrylic to make it give more of that design like the drawer I mean the vanity organizer so I don't know I mean it was pretty pricey the one I purchased but I I'm pretty sure it's still cheaper than like the original beauty box and like key cosmic cube things like that are way more expensive I believe mine was for like 60 50 dollars but I don't know like I really am interested in doing that and I probably will I will try to film the video if I do but like I said who knows but I did buy the paint just in case I decided to so the last two items I did not purchase they were sent to me from my mother-in-law but I still wanted to show you guys them because they were so adorable and one's more like therapeutic and I don't know if I've talked about it but the first thing I want to show you is this cute little Michigan Wolverines little jersey not really jersey but like shirt for our little miniature pincher we have a dog named Loki and my husband loves the Michigan college game and we actually have been watching all of the games and they've been doing pretty good this season so woohoo but um he wears his shirt every every game that we watch and he calls it good luck and he doesn't watch it wash it so he has that so decided it'd be really cute for our dog to have a matching one so the last thing is a coloring book for adults i've already had another one which i really do love and is therapeutic which at first you would think like what but honestly like it just has some really cool patterns and like I'm a person who likes to doodle like I'll have a receipt or an envelope and I'll doodle on it and it's just somehow relaxing um, I also have some paint that I like to play with I used to love oil painting but I just I haven't got back into it and some of the stuff are expensive maybe when I return to the States I'll get back into that but there's something about art that is just so relaxed so i know again makeup is like probably what i'm doing right now which at the same time i'm just like feeling swatches you know all of that does really like make your mind go woohoo but again like if you are someone that's maybe not that into makeup or either way you just like you know what like i want to color i don't care if i'm an adult i am gonna color then you should pick up some of these books i don't know where she purchased them but i'm pretty sure you can get them about anywhere now i think i've heard tj maxx has some or maybe home goods target should have some maybe walmart amazon i don't know but like again it's just a really relaxful thing and i think that you should do it if you want it because like who cares like it's yours if you want it 
<laughs> so that's all the stuff I currently have. I think I do still have some packages coming. Our car broke down. I was sick. There was so, so many things that was occurring. So literally when we went to our uh, P.O. box, a P.O. box, whatever you want to call it, there was like 12 packages um, from my husband's birthday, um, from stuff I've ordered, but either way, I like saw the stuff and got really excited. I'm like, okay, I need to show them to you guys and then play with them because that's what I like to do. But um, thank you guys for watching. Please give the thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Also subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.